He said, I'm going to plant the kingdom right now of all of their order. And when it finishes growing, it will become the biggest thing in the whole garden. God ain't playing around. The day the day of you apologizing for being the most important person in the office is over. Amen. The day of us making politicians more important than kingdom citizens is over. The day of you being intimidated by people with a little bit of money is over. You will become the biggest tree. Don't clap like you believe that. The kingdom of God is not in the earth to leave earth the way it is. It comes to become the influence. It's the kingdom of God. You know, that means, listen to me. He says, I ain't going to clean the garden first, then plant you. I'm going to put you right in the middle of the orderly mess. They think they got it together, but they know it ain't working. They got an organized confusion. They have organized chaos. Everything in order, but nothing working. You know that. Look at our country. Everything in order and nothing working. Because only the kingdom could change this city and this society and make it good. So he's going to put you right in the middle. Matter of fact, here is our kingdom assignment. Matthew 13, 24. Read with me, please, out loud. Read. Jesus told them another parable. He's, he he keeps talking about the kingdom. He says, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, what happened? His enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. In other words, they both were in the same place at the same time. Stop looking for a Christian job. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. You can mark these words. I heard his voice. Bahamas Faith Ministries is going to become a nuisance to the Bahamas this year. We are going to be in everything, every place, every situation, bringing the kingdom of God's views into everything. You better go with him. He says, I want you to be the biggest tree. So the branches are in everything. Look at this. He says, the weeds and the wheat grew together. Now watch this. Look at the next verse. Very interesting. It says here in verse 29, read. He says, let them both grow together. Come out of the convent. Leave the monastery. Mm -hmm. Break up the stained glass windows. Open the steeple bells and let the bell go. Come out of the four walls, he says. Grow with the wheat and the deer. That's why God gave you that job. A lot of wheat needs to be where the here is. You know what's the good news? Chakramusate. According to your king, you are going to win. You ought to shout right there. 
He said the kingdom will become bigger than all the garden plants. That means you ain't going in there hoping you become the influence. You guaranteed to become. Shout amen. I said shout amen. Stop walking into your job from tomorrow morning as if you are the loser. You are the winner. Walk in there. It doesn't matter what they do, what kind of programs they make or policies. You are going to become the biggest tree. You know, normally when you believe God, you shout amen. So I ain't convinced some of y'all don't believe God. Amen! That's my own. That's my own. You your own. Amen. 24 hours ago, I was in Nashville, Tennessee. I just got back a few hours ago. I was supposed to speak at 2.45 in the afternoon at the Morris Cirillo World Conference. 5,000 people in Nashville. I got a phone call from Morris Cirillo in the hotel. He said, Dr. Monroe, can you stay and speak on Saturday night in the main session? I want you to take my session. I said, no, sir, I have to be back in my church on Sunday. He said, we'll do anything you need. We need you to speak. He said, because your message needs to be in the biggest session. I said, sir, I can't stay. My people in the Bahamas, they need me. So, he hung the phone up. Ten minutes later, he called back. He said, Dr. Munro, can you speak tonight? I said, sure, I'm here all day. He said, we don't want you to speak 245, because you only get 40 minutes. He said, you need two hours. He said, Benny Hinn is supposed to speak tonight, but I want the people to hear your message. I said, okay. He said, I just got a call from Benny Hinn, and he can't make it no more. He said, Shambach is here. Paula White is here. Are people there? He said, but you, I want you. I can give you the biggest session. I want you to preach the kingdom. I was ready. It was their largest audience. Live television all over the world. He said, this kingdom shall be like yeast. God will rearrange things to get this message out. Let them grow together. Hey boys, the influence. You cannot influence who you avoid. I know the person wasting wicked next to you cuss dirty words. I know they smoke and drink and talk stories. He says, stay there. Because your job is not about you. It's a government assignment. In school, you young people, God sent you to that classroom not to play children's games with your friends. He sent you there to impact the classroom and the teacher with kingdom principles in your life. Matter of fact, look at the next statement Jesus makes here in verse 37. Read aloud. Go. The field is the world. He tells us what the field is. The field is what? The world. And the good seed stands for who? The sons of the kingdom. See, I told you so. You are the yeast. 